this morning. And uh, real pressure. And no, that's Hashimoto. for a bit yeah. of life. Absolutely. Hydra off then in white here. Hashimoto in blue. And away we go. And yet, you know, when you are top of the tree and you, you win so many and you, you, you do look good, then, well, you know, you can afford a bit of, um, I wouldn't call it showboating. It's an unusual situation for a I Japanese know. to be in. You know, I think he has like, kind of improved as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, that he's matured a bit, I think, hasn't he? He can carry it off a bit better. But you, you know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, they're they're, they're right, normally exactly so reserved. Oh, dear hey. me. That leg was totally straight there. Thank you, man quite happen there. I mean, it's, it's all the gesticulating that you get from him as well, which is so unusual for a Japanese. Arm over the back from uh, Hidnaro is a really dangerous one because he f follows it up with the Makikomi, doesn't he? Chance on the arm, missed yeah. out. We, we've had a minute already. You know, it hardly seems that they've done anything, and yet the minute's gone off the clock. I think this was one that... We, we picked out earlier on, one versus two, the final that you would want in our oven, Hashimoto, we got it, the H-Men. <laughs> well, you come in 7-0 down, <laughs> and you are at a disadvantage, you know, because uh, from a psychological point of view, but saying that, I tell you, I've never seen Hydrov as good as he is at the moment. This is the best he's ever been. And he looks comfortable, doesn't he? Yeah. He's moving well. World number one against the world number three. go back over a six year period. It was fought at the Grand Slam in Paris back in 2017. I'm not going to go out whether it was won or lost because we've already spoken about that. They were all uh, losses as far as Idara is concerned. Paris Grand Slam, the World Championships in Budapest, the Masters in St. Petersburg, the World Championships in Baku, Grand Slam Paris and the last two of the World Championships in Budapest again in 2021 and the World Championships in Doha. So they've always, you know, fought at really, really top level events. Mind you, Hashimoto very rarely gets sent out to anything else. Yeah, I mean, he's had to kind of give up his place when Ono's been there, hasn't he? He's the number two to Ono. His chance but, uh, now. Now. Never have a better one. It's also fascinating for the for the home crowd to have this kind of expectation uh, they having controlled the under 73 kilo category for so long to now have a, a new not a new face but a, a new number one um, Ono has been the, the, the man in the, the driving seat but now Hashimoto has has the mantle and, uh, question mark hasn't been completely erased it's still there can he follow in there uh, in the great man's footsteps also find it very difficult to call such a young uh, player a great man but he's done great things you know he's left his mark whatever happens he's, he's yeah, left his mark yeah he certainly has we're already into the last minute and they still look as though they're just getting used to each other. Shido, the piece, and I think Hashimoto is about to pick up uh, another. And Hitaro. They were just a little. There was just a little bit too much, you know, avoidance there, keeping away from each other. Yeah, I mean they're gesturing to, to grip, and they don't really want to grip up with each other. So the unusual. Um, a position from which to attack. Hashimoto with a chance now, the first real chance to do something was on the ground, but uh, Hidalov was tight 
in defence. And Hashimo is unable to to get through. A lot of youngsters up there in the crowd, going absolutely mad there. The groundwork exchange. Yeah, and they've come to watch uh, one of their heroes, haven't they? Absolutely. Last few seconds of regulation time. This one we're going to need golden score. Well, that was after the time. It didn't even coincide with time. That was quite clearly afterwards. And we're going to have a period of golden score. Just a flash of danger as the right arm went over there from Pitarov, hinting at that Makikomi. Wants to go there, doesn't he? Oh, what a turn, what a turn! Hydrov, gets it. He, he went on the other side. He did, he Instead of coming for the Makikomi, yeah. he takes him on the other side. Incredibly unusual. What a change of direction there from Hydrov. It was an absolutely superb change of direction. And, uh, well, He'll be especially pleased, not just winning the gold medal here, which he did in style, but uh, beating uh, his big rival. Well, they just want to have a look at this, and I, and, I, and I know exactly what it is the commission are going to be looking at here. He's going to ask his colleagues, name the waza, name that technique. Well, so... Uh, oh, and, and the possibility that he had the arm. Look at, look, look at the arm. Yeah, look at the arm. It is, is he throwing with with it on the arm? No, he's good with that. Okay, Solomade says uh, the, the referee, they've had a look.